Alright guys, what's going on? This is a rather large unboxing for the other things that I do on my channel. But uh, I figured I'd do it nonetheless. This is a new television, as you can see. It's currently on offer here, and it's just £349.99. It's made by LG. It's a 4K TV, Ultra HD. It's a smart TV. It's got a HD Freeview tuner, HD FreeSat tuner, uh, web browsing, all that kind of stuff. 40 inches, as you can see on the box, 100 centimeters, 40 inch. And I'm going to show you what you get in the box and a quick look at it. So, uh, first of all, there's not much on this side of the box, as you can see. And you can now see the back of the box, which is actually the front of the box. My uh, bad, but yeah. UHD TV 4K, you can see the front of it there, a couple of pictures of it. It's a uh, HDR which is quite expensive at the moment as well, which I'm quite surprised how cheap this thing is for the features it offers. Uh, WebOS 3.0, metallic design, ultra surround, is a 40UH630V, this particular model. On the other side we've got more basic information. There's not really a lot on the packaging on this thing, to be totally honest with you. So let's just open it up. Okay, so let's open this thing up. I'm going to go across the top and slice it just with this screwdriver, a little bit of the tape. Be careful when you're doing this, if you're using something sharp, that you don't mark the TV. Only put it in a tiny little bit. Now the first thing you see when you open the top of the box is what appears to be the stand in here. Or a piece of the stand. Yep. There's another piece here. And here's the power cable as well. That's all for the top. Okay, it's now out of the box, as you can see. This is also loose in the box, which is the instruction manual. Remote control, a cable tie, and some wire accessories, which I'll get out now. Okay, so this here shows everything that comes included. You've got a figure of eight right angled power connector cable. We've got a composite and component connector here. We've got a wire tidy cable tie. The remote control. Two AAA batteries for the remote control. Some screws for the stands. Two stand pieces, which are actually in bags labelled A and B, and a lot of manuals, safety reference manual, uh, product manual, LG one month free trial of Netflix, ultimate entertainment package from your LG TV. Guaranteed Conditions card. Sell this new product, the protection it deserves. A quick thing of what's included. The guarantee. And some other box. Okay, here's the television itself. I'm going to actually move the camera for this. Because it's very hard to manoeuvre a TV around and talk about it and film it at the same time. So we've got a few stickers here. This is the energy rating for it. 41 watts, 60 kilowatt hour. And we've got over here. Register now and activate your free guarantee with a free phone number. You can also see the glossy display. And the ultra thin bezel that's all the way around it. Extremely thin, especially around the sides and top. There's not a lot of interest on here, so we'll flip this over and look at the other side. Okay, I've now got the legs installed onto the television. I'm going to turn it around and show you the I.O. on the back. This is the rear of the TV. You can see the LG logo there with the protective plastic cover thing over it. This particular TV I've just checked on the sticker here, and it was manufactured in October 2016. I'm currently shooting this in January We've got here an AC input, that's the power input for your power cable. 
over here you can see some of the I.O. First of all lower, I'll show you down here. I would say this is your power button for on and off. Going to I.O. there's a headphone output on a small 3.5mm stereo jack. This is also an audio output for external speakers or something else. We have an Ethernet LAN port, RJ45, for connecting to your internet connection for smart TV features if you're not using wireless. The TV also has built-in Wi-Fi by the way, it's wireless N. We've got an output which is digital audio for sound bars or surround systems or other such things. Moving further along there are two inputs which are AV and component that I showed you earlier. We have inputs for satellite and cable slash antenna television sources. Those are the two HD tuners, the Freeview and FreeSat. Moving even further along, we've got the HDMI inputs. You have HDMI 1, which is side on. HDMI 2, matte ARC, which is at the bottom, and HDMI 3. Further along the side, we see the two USB connectors. These support recording live television onto a USB stick or external hard drive. And the last thing is the PCMCIA card slot, which I don't think many people use anyway. Okay, this is the conclusion to this video. I'm going to quickly plug it in and do a power on test. You can see the standby light has come on at the bottom. That is the power button. And there we go. The TV is starting up. I will probably do more videos on this TV on my channel. If you'd like to see them, go and have a look. I'll be sure to follow this video on in the future with things such as 4K gameplay on it from a computer. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more future videos from me on tech. And I'll see you in the next one.